What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. I want to share with you guys a bunch of new Korean makeup today. I'm going to be doing a full face of only Korean products. In addition to the makeup, I have two favorite skincare products I want to share with you guys. This is the Misha Time Revolution Essence. This is probably my third or fourth bottle. I have a different version of it. The one that I have says intensive moist in red while this one says probe ferment. I don't know what that means. This is the first time I've seen the treatment essence with an RX at the end. I also have my favorite sunscreen. This is the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. This sunscreen is so moisturizing. I can use it on its own without a moisturizer underneath. A lot of the sunscreen or sunblock, facial sunblock that I use, I have to put a moisturizer underneath because it's not hydrating enough. This one is super hydrating. If you have dry skin, I suggest this one. We are going to stop bare face, going straight into concealer. I have one from The Sem. It is kind of small, but it is a very affordable concealer. This is only 380. I got it in the color 1.5. There wasn't a huge range available. I think there was probably three or four colors. So it was kind of a risk to <laughs> try this concealer. Anyways, it has SPF 28, which was kind of cool because I don't think I've ever seen a concealer with SPF in it. I know a lot of the foundations and cushions come with SPF, but this might be the first time I've seen a concealer with SPF. Because the color range was so limited for the concealer, I think it was kind of a risk. <laughs> But I think the color works pretty well on my skin. I didn't end up getting any foundations or cushions because the uh, range of colors for most Korean foundations are very limited. And my skin tone, although I am fair, I feel like a lot of this Korean foundation tend to lean on the more pink or cool tone. I'm very warm. Moving on to the powder, since I don't have any foundation, like I mentioned, I have two. I bought the Innisfree with the Mentos collaboration. These are supposed to be the scented no sebum powders. I have used the Innisfree no sebum powder before, just the original formula in the uh, mint package. I really love that powder because it's very fine and it really does keep your face matte. I've worn it all day in 90 degree weather, running around, going to a concert, and it was... So when I saw this, I wanted to get the scents. I got peach and melon. I will tell you the peach doesn't smell as peachy. The melon one smells a little bit better, but I was expecting some more fragrance. Like this, like the candy tastes really good. I don't know if you guys have ever had the flavored Mentos candy. Um, it's really sweet. So I think I was expecting how sweet the flavor is translated into the smell. And it's it's a little a little disappointing. <laughs> But out of these two, the melon one has a stronger uh, fragrance. Moving straight into the brows, I've used this brow product before, but I bought a new one because I loved it so much. It is the Tony Moly Easy Touch Auto Eyebrow. I love this uh, brow tip because it has kind of, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it. Can I do this? Can I do one of these things? I don't know. Anyways, the tip of the brow pencil kind of has like a little teardrop triangular shape. So I kind of like that to draw in the brows. I'm not too fond of the brow pencils that are very pointed and fine. I know those are great for making little hair-like strokes. But for me, I just need something to really give like a substantial weight to my brows because there is nothing there. I also really love the spoolie on the other end of the brush because it's really fat and I feel like it really grabs onto your brow hairs. By the way, this was only $2.50. I mean, how much more affordable can you get for $2.50? Next, we're gonna move into the eyeshadow. I got the Etude House Rose Balm Balm palette. Look how beautiful this palette is. <gasps> I actually got this palette because I wanted the Huda Beauty nude something one of the nude palettes from huda beauty I'm, I'm gonna put a picture of the huda beauty one right here just so you guys can see the side by side comparison this one was only 21 20 much more affordable than the huda beauty one wanted to try it out because i've never tried out any of the etude house eyeshadows before i am going to go kind of for a soft look today and i'll explain why in a little bit i'm gonna use this light lilac gray one right here Oh, this color is very soft to the point where I don't even know if it's showing up on my skin. Is it showing up on my skin a little bit? I mean, I said I wanted a soft look, but I don't know about this soft. 
we just gotta layer it on a little bit okay next i'm gonna move into this color right here i'm gonna use the same brush and put it onto the outer half of the eyes that one definitely appears a bit more on my on my skin tone Ooh, let's put that into the bottom lash line. Ooh, you can really see that color shine. I think I'm gonna take a pencil, a pointy pencil brush now and go into a shimmery color. Let's go into, let's go into this tie-dye one right here. I'm gonna put that into the inner corner and in the inner third of the eyes. that shimmer next I'm gonna go into this deep uh, purple color right here I'm gonna use a flat shader brush and create a liner I've actually swatched the eyeshadows a bit on my arm earlier and I'll tell you that the matte shadows are very nice. They are very pigmented, very creamy. There are some shimmers in here, so the, the shimmers with finer uh, flexes, those are very pigmented and buttery. But the shimmers that have a little bit of a thicker flex in them, like this and this and this, are um, a little harder to work with. I guess you need to kind of dip a few times into the pan to get some color especially this one this is more of a thick glitter topper so there's not a lot of color it's just more like confetti for the eyes <laughs> like that now we are going to move on to the eyelashes i got the innisfree skinny micro cara mascara so this is a mascara with a super super tiny wand look at it it looks like it's not even there it's so skinny the brush is a little tiny spoolie almost and the reason I got this is because every time I apply mascara, I always get mascara goop onto my eyelids. I can never really put as much mascara as I want onto the lower lash line because the mascara wands of normal mascaras are very big. It gets very messy down there for me. Unfortunately, I did buy this in a black and brown, but they only sent me the brown one. That's why I wanted to go for a lighter makeup look because I feel like the brown isn't going to appear as much if I did a heavier look. So I'm going to use my Shiseido eyelash curler and put on the mascara for you. Do you see that length? I think the length on this mascara is good, but if you're looking for volume, this is probably going to be very difficult to achieve. This is already two coats of the mascara, but there's not a lot of thickness and volume, but there is good length. We're gonna work on the cheeks now. I didn't buy any bronzers because a lot of the reviews that I saw said that the options that they had came out very orange. Uh, Korea is very big into shading, what they call like doing the V-line thing. And even though the shading colors look like they'd be more on the cool tone side, the reviews still said they were kind of orangey, so I didn't buy any of that. Skipped straight to blush. This is the Peri Para Peri Para Liquid Blush. This is the color Chic Cinnamon. This was only $6.90. Yes, it was only $6.90. And look at this. Look at this application. It looks like freaking nail polish. This color kind of reminds me of the Glossier Cloud Paint that I have. I think the color is Dusk and i love the cloud paint i just feel like it doesn't wear throughout the day that well it kind of just disappears from the cheek and fades away really fast and for 18 dollars, i don't think it should fade that fast i'm gonna give this to try to see how long it lasts and how pigmented it is i also love that this uh, application comes kind of like a nail polish like with a little brush because the cloud paint comes in that squeezy tube it's so easy to squeeze out an excess amount and it's not like you can just shove it back into the tube <laughs> this color also reminds me of one of my favorite um, blush colors it's from ColourPop it's supposed to be in the double play um, palette I think the color is called Getting Handsy I'll put here to be sure of the name 
I love the idea of liquid blushes because it makes your skin look so glowy and nice. Like, look how glowy it makes my skin look right now. But the glossy I want, it's a little, a little expensive. And like I said, I wish the power, lasting power was a little longer. Ooh, this one's really nice. I love this kind of blush color. Kind of a warm but not orangey, kind of like a terracotta or something type color. What is this called again? Chic Cinnamon. The last thing we're gonna do are the lips. It is another Peri Para product. This is a velvet ink or ink velvet. This is the color Celeb Deep Rose. And it comes on a little doe foot applicator like this. It kind of looks like it would be like an eyedropper. It feels very cushiony. Like it's like a, it feels like a liquid lip, but it doesn't dry out right away. Like you still have a lot of time to continually spread it out. This color is brighter than I thought I'd be getting. This does not look like a deep rose color. This looks like friggin' bright, like red orange. If y'all know me, my favorite lippy ever are the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips. This feels right in between like an Ultra Blotted Lip and their liquid matte, ultra matte lip. The density feels like it's right in between those two formulas. I really enjoyed everything that I got. I mean, I achieved this entire full face look for just about 50-ish dollars. I will put the price of everything in this video so you guys have a reference. I think my favorite product would be the eyeshadow palette because it's such a huge bang for your buck. All these colors for 2120. It has good pigment and a good variety of different formulas just in this one palette. The thing that I was disappointed most about is probably the powders just because I expected them to smell more. I wanted a little bit more of a fragrance because I mean they look so yummy but I don't know. Especially this peach one because peach is my favorite scent and favorite thing ever so ugh, if you're gonna get a flavor or a fragrance get the melon one if you really want to smell it. I am also bummed that I didn't get my black mascara so I did already email them let's see how their customer service treats this and if i'm going to be getting a refund or if they're going to send it to me who knows otherwise i do like this mascara for length again it is not amazing for volume and thickness but for length it is good i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the new stuff that i got we're all still here in shelter in place a little quarantine self-isolation whatever you want to call it i hope my videos can keep you company come back and watch some other things, some other videos. Stay tuned for more. Stay safe out there and thank you for watching. Bye.